Okay, now that I have shown you how to thread the sewing machine and I've shown you how the controls work, um, one of the important things to do after threading the machine is to take a sample or scrap piece of fabric and test the machine. Um, so this one I've used quite a bit, so I've got a, quite a bit of thread, but um, you should have a, a piece in your kit. So we'll um, lower the presser foot. There's a lever in the back to, to lower that. Um, turn the hand wheel toward you to get the needle down into the fabric and then you will press using your foot you will press on the the presser foot to make the machine go now before I do that though I want to go in reverse first and that's to uh, I think it's called a tack stitch or something and it kind of locks the stitches in if you just go forward and stop and cut the thread it's fairly easy to pull the thread out but if you go backwards first one or two stitch probably two stitches two or three stitches and then go forward, it locks it in place. So in order to go in reverse, push the lever all the way up and you do have to hold it. And then gently push on the pedal. The harder you push on the foot pedal, the faster your machine will go. We wanna go very slow. So we wanna just gently push on it until you get about two or three stitches. Then you can let the lever down. And um, remember it's gonna, well, it, it's on the four where I had it earlier. And so now, when I press on it, it's gonna go forward. Then at the end, when you've gotten where you wanna go and you're done, you also wanna do a couple of stitches backwards. So lift the lever up again, go backwards a couple, and then let go. This time, the, uh, the needle stopped in the fabric. If you turn the hand wheel toward you, wait till it gets up to its highest position and your take-up lever is at its highest position, you can lift the, um, the presser foot and pull it out. Now, I don't like just pulling it out because you can pull stitches out by accident. So what I will do is kind of pinch, uh, I can't do it without blocking the view, but I pinch the stitches together uh, where the uh, last stitches were and then pull it out. And that way I'm not pulling too hard on the stitches. And then pull the, pull it at least off of the machine you want uh, three or four inches of thread and you can cut the top flip it over and cut the bottom so you have your two threads again and then you can see there's the stitch that we did check the back side a lot of times when you make a mistake threading the top thread you will this won't look nice but we do have a nice straight stitch here um, another thing I thought I would point out is this machine is a very heavy machine and that's why I have it in this um, tub. It's, it's a um, carrying case. This is the bottom part of it. There's another one that goes on the top. Um, I do recommend that you either leave it in here and kind of pick this side up to lean on the edge because otherwise this is a little taller than the machine and it'll be in your way. If you um, have it up here or if you don't like this because it is kind of awkward having this here, I do recommend you put this on a piece of cardboard because of how heavy the machine is and it has metal feet, it can damage whatever surface you put it on. So if you put a piece of cardboard down first and then sit this on there, it would be a lot easier. And I think that's it. All right, enjoy your machine. Thank you.